Hey guys, uh, since, uh, gosh, I don't remember when I did, last did a video on my plants. Um, but here are my plants. Here is the lily. And here's something called a dollar or something. I forget what it's called. Once it flowers, it's going to have like this really neat looking like white silvery flower. That's my blue grass that didn't really grow that much. But, uh. And there's some more of that dollar plant thing. And again, I forget the name. Um, so the last time we did a video on this, hold on. The last time we did a video on this, I was just using my water bottle to put um, water in. Uh, but I know some of y'all use different things. And um, so I went out and bought a, you might've seen this in a different video, just a, just a spray bottle. Uh, so we can work on using a spray bottle to water your plants if you have indoor plants. And I am working on, uh, I live in an apartment. I see, see the floor down there, yeah. I live in an apartment, so I don't have a garden, so I can't use a watering can or anything, because I have nothing to, I have no need for it. Uh, but I am trying to get one for you guys, a video for you guys. But here's just a video on uh, how I would water the plants. So I would want to make sure that I do not overwater, so I'm just gonna spray around it like it's raining okay just want to make sure everything gets wet and I have my towel here just in case I overshoot it but just want to make sure you get the ground wet good and wet okay you can see the plants getting some water and that's good I assume I'm not a plant person I'm trying to teach myself okay then here I'm gonna go softer just because I don't want to harm the the plants so here I can go hard. This is a strong plant, but here's a small, these are just small right now. So I'm gonna go soft, go slow like that. And you can see the water right there. That's kind of cool, right? And again, soft, these are very thin, thin plants. You can see them move when I get the water on them. Okay, just wanna make sure you get them good wet. Again, almost like it's raining. You can see the water droplets on those guys and see they're still there. Water droplets are still there. Water droplets are still there. And then the last one. Again, just acting like it's raining. Make sure everything gets wet. And you can see, oh, right here, you can see the water on there. Okay, you can see the little gnats too. I gotta work on that. I watched a video on how to get rid of that. So, but uh, yeah. So there you go. Um, if you help your families water the plants, just make sure you ask them how much water. Uh, I dropped my water bottle. Oops, oh, there's my finger. I should just let me use this hand. So, water bottle might work for some. Spray bottle might work for others. You can see we didn't put that much water in. Okay. So if you're gonna do a garden with your mom, dad, brother, sister, caretaker, uh, if you're gonna do a garden, uh, just make sure you ask uh, how much water to put in or have them be next to you and they can just tell you, you know, more, more. And then when you're done, you can go all done. I can't really do that with two hands, one hand, well, all done. Or you can say finished or they can tell you when you're finished. It's just that way you know when, when you're, when you're done with the watering. All right, guys, try it at home. Uh, some plants you have to water every day. Some plants you don't. So make sure you ask. Uh, whoever's in charge of the plants because you don't want to overwater them. That's something I learned. I, I tragically. So I will um, keep you updated on how these plants go. And uh, again, try this at home uh, and make sure you ask for uh, help. If you need help, just say help. All right, guys. See you later.